What's up YouTube? Uh, here I am back again with another uh, POV style street photography video. Uh, if you saw my previous video, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, this is going to be a similar video, but it's going to be a little bit shorter. I'm going to uh, trim down most of the content so that uh, it will be delivered in a very short span, but with more information. Uh, so here we go. So here we are on the street with my Ricoh GR3X. For today's shoot, I'm going to use a shutter speed of 1 over 2 50th and an aperture of uh, 5.6. My ISO is going to be on auto, going all the way up to 6400, but I expect it to be somewhere below 500 uh, since the available light condition is pretty good. So just around the corner I saw uh, my first uh, interesting subject for today. Um, here I am trying to frame my subject and uh, sometimes what you need to realize is that you do not have control over your environment especially when you are shooting on the street. So you have to take your time, uh, be patient and uh, uh, get to your subject and the framing that you uh, were looking to get. If you are new to street photography, one of the things that I would always recommend is uh, within the 5-10 minutes that you are on the street, you need to start clicking. That will get you warmed up and uh, set you in motion. This will really help, especially the new street photographers. Learning to sense or feel the environment that you are in can significantly improve your street photography experience. Knowing when you are welcome and when you are not can be the difference of having a smooth shoot or a confrontation. Knowing your own camera in and out can really improve your shooting experience as well, especially on the streets when things are moving and the conditions change. Uh, you need to be able to quickly adapt and take a click and then move on. This approach is sometimes called the run and gun method.
Sometimes if I feel welcome, um, after taking a photograph, I acknowledge the subject with a wave or a nod, but I always do that after. The reason why I emphasized on the word after is because it's very difficult to take a convincing street photograph if your subject is uh, posing for the camera with a gang sign. So this next shot is probably my favorite capture from this day and uh, it just made me remember why I love street photography so much. It truly was an emotional experience. Streets are full of chaos, so in the middle of all of the drama, when you see something that truly resonates with you, um, I think it's worth uh, taking a moment to uh, experience what is going on in front of you uh, and uh, take your time, do a proper uh, composition and try to get the right frame for the shot that you're trying to take. When the view right in front of you is blocked, sometimes turning to the side and looking might give you a very pleasant surprise like this. I don't like to use uh, shutter burst for street photography. So I spent hours and hours uh, practicing uh, so that I can improve my hand to eye coordination. This was so that I won't miss out on the so called decisive moment. When my subject is a child, I always try to go down to their eye level uh, to make my composition more interesting. Be wary of your environment so that you don't offend the people mistakenly. 
so in this case uh, people started uh, singing the national anthem so i waited uh, in respect until i uh, get a chance to move in for a more close up shot Even though street photography is more about capturing candid moments, when these youth requested that I take a few group photographs for them, I obliged out of respect for their cause. What I saw next uh, made me feel truly inspired uh, when I saw these young people standing their ground for the future of all of us. It was inspiring. That was probably my second favorite capture from this shoot. In hindsight, this next image, I could have improved it uh, further by shooting uh, through the people, uh, leaving them on the foreground. If you saw my previous video, uh, you might remember me mentioning about working a scene and uh, here I am doing exactly that, working the scene, trying to get a close up shot as well that will add to the story when the images are presented as a collective. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. 
and subscribe to my channel for more street photography related content in the future.